we've got a few um, things to consider here. The hand wheel itself, obviously, the operation is fairly simple. You, you turn the hand wheel and the carriage will move or the cross slide will move, whichever, depending upon which wheel you turn. But on each wheel, we've also got a gauge at the back. And the gauge allows us to keep track of how far our carriage is moving. So if I want the cross slide to move, say, two millimeters away from me, I need to use this guide wheel to tell me how far I'm traveling. So if we have a bit of a close up on here, we can see that the gauge on the back of the hand wheel is counting up and it's a metric hand wheel this one. Some machines may have an imperial one if you're working in five, but for the purposes of this we're working in metric. Now let's say I move my carriage from a cross slide, let's say I move it into a position where I want to start cutting and that is somewhere like, I don't know, there. there, or there. I'm, I'm making this up. So I've got a blank position and what I want to do is I want to move from here five millimeters away from me. Now, the way that I track that is, first of all, I'd keep my hand wheel secure and the gauge on the back, I can then twist separately, independently of the hand wheel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to zero. So we're gonna see I've set to zero against the guide. And then as I rotate the hand wheel, the friction is high enough there that the guide will move with the hand wheel. So that's one millimeter. That's two millimeters, three millimeters, four millimeters, and then finally five millimeters, which is a full revolution in this hand. But we can see the increments are in 0.2. So if I move to 0.2, that means I've moved 0.2 of a millimeter. So in total, we've moved 5.2 millimeters now. And as we progress around, we can use each indentation to keep track of how far we're moving into the material. So each indentation, each individual indentation is equivalent to 0 0.02 millimeters. So they're very, they are very small indentations. So you can get quite an accurate measurement on them. So in total, this hand wheel moves five millimeters, as I say. And if we have a look at the cross, if we have a look at the cross slide, we can see we have a similar arrangement, except it's a smaller hand wheel. So this hand wheel only as two and a half millimeters in total with travel per revolution. So if I was to move from zero to 0.1, I know I've moved 0.1 of a millimeter forward on the cross slide. If I move to 0.7, I know I've moved 0.7 of a millimeter. And if I go to 1.9, I know I've moved 1.9 millimeters forward. It's important to remember to set these uh, if you're using them for measurements. So as soon as you come to the edge of the material, You've got your square face, use the hand wheel to set yourself in position. Set to zero and away you go.